The heart of any homemade do-it-yourself air rifle or air cannon is its valve, with the QEV being a very effective, powerful, and easy-to-use valve. Here I'm showing an example of a QEV that I just received, purchased from eBay. It has three ports on it, of course. Uh, the output port, where you connect your barrel, on this example is a 3 8 NPT thread. The uh, port for the barrel will be marked R on a QEV. The port marked A and the port marked B are both threaded quarter-inch NPT. The one marked A will go to the air reservoir. The port marked P will be for your pilot and fill. Now I have some parts prepared, so I'm going to uh, quickly put together a test of this QEV to show it working. But first, I'm going to modify it so it's self-closing. The QEV is simple, and the mod is simple, so I'll pick up the video in a moment when I'm ready to uh, do it. To modify this QEV, we need to disassemble it, which is simple. This uh, output port 3 8 NPT fitting screws out. And then the rubber plunger falls out. There's only uh, three parts to a QEV. They're all shown here. To modify it, we need a spring and I'll show where that goes. Let's mod our QEV now so that it's self-closing. Here's a look into it viewed from the uh, large output port. We'll need a spring of some sort. I have a uh, spring here I got out of an old D-cell flashlight. It just happens to fit perfectly down into the QEV cavity. You can see I've pushed it into the bottom. Then the little rubber plunger thing can be pushed back in. And then all we have to do is uh, screw the QEV back together. Give it a little twist with the wrench. Our QEV is now modified and I can go on to the next step of setting up to test it. Here is everything we need. At the rear here I've prepared an air chamber from uh, some 5 8 inch uh, copper pipe. It's end capped at one end. I had no 5 8 cap, so I used a reducer and then capped it off with a half inch. At the other end, I just put a collection of fittings that I had to get me down to a uh, quarter NPT thread in so that the uh, air reservoir here can go on the A port of the QEV. I have second a uh, 25 caliber barrel for testing. I've uh, just wedged uh, a 3 8 inch nipple on the end of it so it'll screw into the 3 8 NPT output port on my QEV. The next piece is this uh, quarter NPT ball valve. For the purposes of testing, I'm going to put this on to the pilot port. Then I can fill through the ball valve, shut the ball valve, disconnect the air, and then when I open the ball valve, it'll serve as my pilot valve for the test. Of course, we would probably uh, use a slide valve or a hammer valve or even in a small electric solenoid valve to pilot the QEV when it's on uh, an air cannon or an air rifle. 
I will now uh, thread these parts together with a little plumber's sealer and uh, then we'll show the device assembled. Step one's been completed. I've uh, attached the ball valve to the port marked P on the QEV and on my other end of the ball valve I have an air chuck adapter for my shop air hose because my first test will be off shop air at 125 psi. Before I thread in a uh, threaded connection I've been using some uh, plumbing joint compound shown in the little tub over here. I brush it onto the threads and then uh, I can <coughs> then uh, have a leak proof uh, connection. Here I will attach the uh, air chamber to the port marked A. And of course I'll wrench that on in a minute. Oops, nearly dropped everything there. The last thing, of course, will be to uh, attach the barrel to the output port. Here's a look at the finished test assembly, which only took minutes to make up. Ball valve is on the P, or pilot port. The air chamber is on the A port. And I have a uh, short 25 caliber breech loading barrel as my uh, test barrel on the output port which is marked R. All that's left to do is uh, connect the air to this and try it out. Let's hook up the shop airline and give this thing a trial just with air, no uh, BB yet. Air is on Open the ball valve. There was a little hiss of air rendering. I'm not hearing any leaks, so I guess my connections are tight enough and my plumber's sealing compound is working. So I'll shut the ball valve and remove my airline. Now, if all is good, when I pull this ball valve open, I should pilot my QEV and there should be a blast of air out the uh, barrel that I've attached. Let's give it a try. I think it worked, so we'll try it again with uh, some of these Daisy uh, 25 caliber steel BBs that I have here. Let's load a 25 caliber steel BB into the breech. Close it. Ball valve closed. I'll hook on uh, my airline. Pressurize the air tank. Close the ball valve. Remove the air chuck. And take aim at this piece of wood here. And it seems it fired with a good velocity and it's made a uh, hole clean through here. I'll pick up this piece and turn it around and there's the uh, exit hole. So we have a successful 25 caliber BB gun just made up for a test. There's another look at it. Very easy to modify the QEV and make it into a very basic but entirely working air gun. I will of course build this into something better and uh, this particular QEV could be used with a 177 or 22 caliber uh, air rifle barrel, such as the 24 inch Crossman barrels that can be often easily purchased online 
for not a lot of money. They would both be good barrels for this QEV. As I just showed, the 25 caliber BB barrel that I have on here, although it's only uh, 18 inches or so long, the BB still went through a piece of uh, 3 16 wood paneling, no problem, although I will admit that 3 16 wood paneling is uh, pretty weak. But uh, this thing would also go through a uh, pop can or a tin can with a 25 caliber steel BB, so it's not weak. Uh, if you could get a 25 caliber rifled barrel, uh, it could go on here as well. And uh, this QEV could uh, also operate one of my caliber 410 air cannon barrels and shoot a uh, caliber 410 lead slug out of it if I wanted to. But uh, today I just wanted to show how easy it is to open and modify the eBay QEVs just by adding a spring to make it self-closing so that when you use a your slide valve or a hammer valve or a solenoid valve to pilot it the QEV will be self-closing and therefore semi-automatic becomes possible. Hopefully this information was useful and helpful to anyone thinking of making uh, up a simple or more complicated air rifle or air cannon based on the readily available and cheap eBay QEVs. I couldn't resist trying this out a little more, so I've brought out my rag backstop and I've set up a couple of pop cans, one behind the other. I'm going to load up and shoot a 25 caliber steel BB at uh, pop cans and see if uh, or what happens. Pressurized. Air chuck off, pellet loaded, or BB, excuse me, loaded. Okay, let's pick up the cans and uh, see what if anything happened here. Well, can number one has an entry and an exit hole. Can number two has uh, an entry split and an exit hole. So it went through both cans. Well, let's try this again, but this time we'll use a harder steel can. I wonder if this will uh, just dent, or whether I'll actually be able to penetrate one side of it, even though I'm just using a short barrel. Well, we'll load up another uh, 25 caliber BB, let the air in, unhook the air chuck, take aim, And yes, I was right with the short barrel and low pressure. I was only able to put a uh, dent in the steel can. But I have much higher pressure available than just 125 PSI shop air. So let's see if this thing will actually work on a higher pressure. And if the higher pressure will put the steel BB through the steel can. Here I've hooked up to my high pressure air tank which I keep filled to 450 PSI from uh, one of my fridge compressors that's on the floor actually uh, near the tank. You can see it down there. The tank is at 450 right now so I've hooked it up to the uh, newly made air gun and we'll give uh, 
450 PSI behind a 25 uh, steel BB hand, see what happens. Okay, I've got the higher pressure air and a 25 caliber steel BB. Well, the whole can flew away when I fired that time. I'll find where it went and uh, we'll have a look at it. Here's the can. I clearly have an entry hole and a clean exit hole, so my BB zipped right through and into the rag backstop. Clearly, there's no problem running this uh, eBay QEV on 450 PSI. There were no leaks at the higher pressure, all my threaded sealed connections were good, and it fired perfectly when I opened the ball valve. I should point out that when I bought this QEV from eBay, it's only rated up to 150 PSI, but I just used it at 450, which is uh, triple its rating, without even a hiccup, a hiss, or even the tiniest little bit of a leak. So uh, anyone uh, wanting to work with one of these shouldn't have to fear uh, fridge compressor pressures. Uh, obviously they work fine at the higher pressure. One last 450 PSI shot with the 25 caliber BB, this time into a pine fence board. That should have stuck inside the board. And yes it did. We can see the BB in there. It's, uh, it went about halfway through the wood. Not bad considering I'm using a very short barrel. It doesn't really give a lot of time for the BB to accelerate to a good velocity.